previously on Control. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Right now, both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. It's going to destroy both planes. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can save everybody. Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. Inverted is made right. Fuckers, take everything. I am not letting you take this. Sorry, I wasn't here to help, Marshall. I could have saved her, but I can still save everyone else. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> the nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I mean... What good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? Enough of that, back to the video. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there, reaching for her, trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man, a hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Well, uh, that's new. Uh, is that is that something from the hotline? Oh, hey, actually, we we actually have a new one from the from the board as well. The, the departure. I have not seen this. It thinks the board thinks that we that it's Je that Jesse is also her brother. Okay, so this is uh this is the Alan Wake DLC for Control that literally just dropped yesterday. So I have never seen this before. I have only seen the trailers. Uh, I am going at this completely blind. So let's take a look at this first thing. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. And made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights went back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator doors slid shut with practice bravado.
look at these later. For now, all right, so we are heading to the investigation sector, a newly opened sector of the oldest house in search of possibly Alan Wake and maybe figure out what the hell is going on down there. Um, can the elevator let me out, please? Oh, it's so dark. And now it's, there's light. Okay. This game is so pretty. Hello? Anyone here? Well, yes, not. I know what this deserves. Even though it's like grim and foreboding, this deserves a photo. So, uh, for anyone that doesn't know what Alan Wake is about, it's basically about a writer called Alan Wake who uh, encounters a darkness uh, on while uh, traveling to the small, sleepy town of Bright Falls. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Um, he and his wife travel to a small town called Bright Falls where he plans to work on his next novel, uh, encounters some sort of eldritch abomination, and uh, has to do a battle with hostile darkness. Literally. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because it's actually, it is like 9 in the morning and because the light outside is, it's making me, it's making it incredibly difficult to see. <laughs> it's not that I'm scared, I, I actually can't see some of the elements on my, on my screen, so. There's gonna be a lot of unread stuff here, so I'm not gonna go through every single one, like right now, I'm just gonna collect them all and then go through, go through them one by one, like near the end of the stream or something. This looks like a barricade or something. Keystone inspection. He said there's a control point over there. Polaris is telling me that there is one. Tractor procedures. We'll go through that later. Ethics investigation. Oh my god, there's so many new documents here. Jesus Christ. Uh, any more documents around here? Like, there's like, like shit I can't see. I can't even see in here. Tractor supplement. Resignation letter. Let's. Hmm. It's not working. Okay, so I need the. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Yeah, the power core I need is over there. Uh, oh my god, there is so much stuff here, guys. Oh my. Holy shit. Launch ground slam boost. Dude, look at that. Look at that helmet. I bet if I had ray tracing on, oh, this would look a lot better. But dude, look at this. Look at the reflection on the visor. It's, li it's live. That the reflection is being done live. How? How? Uh, okay, let's get that. Trench, official warning. Director investigation. Get up, please. Thank you. Under hill background. Uh, this one is... Oh, this one deserves a photo as well. Yes. Okay, so there was a power core down there. Uh, like, down here. Oh my god, there's so much shit here. What the fuck? Cauldron Lake update. There's so many documents here. God, good god. There's a power core over here that you obviously need to grab. Fly up here and... There. Now that gate should open. I like, I like how she's the director of the bureau and she has no qualms of just wrecking shit. Specimen escape assessment. Right, so there's a control point here. We just simply quickly claim this. Ding. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Blessed organization. I got a lot of documents to go over later. <laughs> uh, right, so for anyone that doesn't know what this is, this is a light cord. This goes to the Ocean View Motel. It is a main gimmick of the original game. Uh, basically, you you, you pull on the light cord three, th uh, three times, it'll transport you to the Ocean View Motel, which is sort of like a space between spaces. It essentially links one dimension to another and allows me to open up bridges and stuff like that. One, two, three. Do we know each other? I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I, I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Endless darkness. Nothing holds still. But where 
we're very close now. You've been riding. We found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I... I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> that was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. That was a thing. What's he doing here? Um. And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. No, Jesse, he was a poet. Remember? He was a poet before he was a filmmaker. He wrote himself out of existence in Alan Wake. Wait, that was a spoiler. Um, yeah, if you haven't played Alan Wake before, heavy spoilers. Uh, but if you don't mind, then continue. By all means, continue. Stay. Okay. Actually, okay, hold on. I need to... Uh, hmm, I wonder. I have never actually taken any pictures inside the Ocean View Motel before. So let me... Let this be the first. Right back in. Okay, and now we go and ding the bell again. I think. Or not. Oh. What did that do? Open up the third door? Or... Yep, yep, it did. Is that a... What is that? Oh, it's a key. Oh dear. If I have a fun stream until next time. You have, you have a good rest, Zion. You, Harvin, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Harvin. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Harvin went through another change. So that sounds to me like the thing that had been Hartman came into contact with the hiss hold on let's let's have a look at that in greater detail oh they have a little unread thing now thank god for that i had to search for the unread unread entries uh, back when back when this game uh back when this uh, dlc was still in production i think they didn't have the whole like all unread thing so dr emil hartman was desperate the federal bureau of control had stolen his life's work this was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FPC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound, a resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune. Could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Sounds to me like he got corrupted by this. <laughs> we shall look over all those little media files in due time. Right, but now we have the key. Let us proceed to open up this fire break. One, two, three. And the fire break's open. Awesome. Open but broken. Okay, so there was a little... Oh, hi, there's a little astral spike over there. Hey, guys, remember the astral cats? They're back. Ooh, look at the way the rock frag... The, the, um, the walls fragment. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me try that again. Yeah! That's pretty cool. And, oh, now the rocks. Dang it. <laughs> okay, now I need. I think. I guess I need to make my way over there. Oh. 
Hi, sir. Bye, sir. Yeah, now it's the thing. Okay, let me read that. Let me read that problem. Now it's the thing that had been the thing that had been hard. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Hold on, before I go over there, this looks like pro. Oh. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Yo, look at that. There's like a film grain over this place. Jeez. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. Oh, hi! <laughs> Asshole. Okay, that's an explosive. Ah! Ow. Well, thank God for that health. <laughs> Realized that was an explosive. Okay, this one also deserves a photo. This is why I don't try to run for the tree and as the door is closing, as you go. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. There's usually something horrible in these bathrooms. Even the way the wood splinters and fractures with the doors and stuff like that. Look at that. Uh, oh. Well. This is, well, this is a thing, isn't it? That doesn't look like a house shift. Okay. Do I even want to know? Yeah, the world's freaking out. Ah, the world's freaking out, Jesse. Let me just cleanse this control point and maybe claim this place and maybe... The textures are insane. Yeah, Jenna, this this game is one of the. Oh, okay, so the moment I get close, okay. Ah, yes, our good old pals, the Hiss, are here again. You have a chair. Okay, I can zoom in. Stop that. Here, why don't you uh, come over to my side and help me? You know, since you used to, since you used to. Work. Join me, thank you. There's an crazy lady come to work today and stay for an hour. Oh, oh, jeez, that doesn't sound good. Any more? Yeah, one more. Oh, that killed him outright. Yes, the fire extinguisher. Of course, the hiss are already in here. Thanks, bro. Uh, it's a shame you weren't wearing like a HR an HRA when uh, the when the the hiss came. Of course, like they sealed off the sector because of the whole thing that happened, Hartman. Uh, let's take a let's take a slow walk through this entire office and see whether or not there are things here. Also, this is a weird picture. This darkness is blocking the door. So. Now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. So, which, is, which as you can see, this is the main mechanic of Alan Wake, using lights to conquer darkness. Turns it away, huh? Makes sense. Maybe I should carry this lamp with me. Just in case. Uh, ooh, this guy, made a, this guy made a messy end. Is that a... Oh, wow, yeah, he got liquefied, this poor guy. Oops, that's what I meant to do. I meant to put down the lamp. Come with me, lamp. Huh, well, uh, any director, any of the uh, directors of the foundation uh, and has been other like legendary weapons before like according to the lore it's been Excalibur, it's been a bunch The third thing, the sound made darker, the darkness made louder Hartman was stretched like a worm through time The third thing was a monster Now we crashed out of darkness to our fate